Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are trying The Last Relic today. This is a brand new game, a game that was uh, generously sent to me by the creator of the game. And we're going to give it a try. It seems to be a 16-bit era inspired RPG. It's not an action RPG, but it, there are action elements. Imagine a world not far from our own, a realm of infinite power, wealth, and love. It's a fantasy to most, and yet it exists. Good, u good appropriate use of the semicolon there. <clears throat> Beautiful pix art, pixel art, right off the right off the bat there. Philosophers and dreamers claim it's a place you create in your heart, in your mind with those that you love and cherish. A beautiful sentiment, indeed. I mean, this art right away, you're in for a treat. I love that um, gradual gradient look. That sort of pixelated gradient in the background. Very cool. But I assure you, this world is very real, deep-seated in the rich tapestry of our universe. Do you say tapestry or tapestry? That's a good question. Oh, now they're in some sort of like dune buggy all-terrain vehicle deal. Are they traveling towards this uh, world of wonder? So what do you say, kiddo? Reach out, grab my hand, and we'll go there. Together. Cool. Uh, this is a bonus basement video. Uh, it's just me, no Ted. And this is not a Sunday long play, I don't think. I th think it is just a regular old video for fun. Uh, Ellie, wake up, Ellie. Wake up! Huh? Ugh, five more minutes, Mom. Look at you hanging off the edge of the bed, still wearing that hat. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, bright and shiny day outside. I'm not letting you lace around in bed all day. Ugh, fine. Stop eyeing. Sheesh, you are your father's daughter. Okay, see you later, Mom. Now! Okay, nothing was working. I'm up, I'm up. Boy, look at her jump out of bed. Maybe she... What is she, a teenager? Oh, yeah. The Keek Stardock Caravan is in town today. Enter the puppeteering majesty of Keek and her traveling caravan of wonder. It's today only, so I need to check it out before they leave. Hmm. I should bring Dad's bow with me. Never know when I'll need to deal with any ne'er-do-wells. I think it left it in my dresser. Okay, so WSASD works, as well as up, down, left, right. I am using a keyboard. I tried to get a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to work with my computer, but I'm not very good at stuff. Uh, I think I'm good with what I'm wearing right now. Wasn't that your dresser? My manga collection in pristine condition as always. Let's see here, where is Dad's bow? Uh, I can't move. Found it! You found Clyde's bow. Dad would be proud. I should equip it before I go out. Should I check on how Game Creator 3000 Project is doing? Uh, maybe later. Strawberry soda, nectar of the gods. Okay. I really should equip my bow before I leave. It's starting to reek in here. Okay, so let's try escape. There's equip. Ellie. Yes. Ellie's outfit. Equip. Oh. Okay, so that's the weapon slot, and that's the outfit, and that's something else. So, let's do... Clyde's bow brings my agility down just a little bit. My attack up, and defense, magic attack, and magic defense are not impacted. I like those little arrows. A bow belonging to Ellie's father, Clyde. Okay, we equipped it. Escape. Optimize. Reset. Optimize. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Mega Man 2, for those of you who don't know. Maybe other Mega Mans as well, I'm not sure. Okay, equipped and ready to head out. That's fine. What was that? <gasps> A mouse. You want to take me on? Battle tutorial. Okay. Battle gauge. In battle, Alice and Foe share the same battle gauge. When a battler reaches calm, they begin their turn. Attacks act instantly, but magic arts take extra time to charge. Okay. 
Magic and weapon arts, they take time to charge, cost MP. Weapon arts require no charging. They deplete the user's HP, so be careful. Interesting. Weaknesses, most enemy have one weakness or weapon weakness. Elemental or weapon. Experiment and battle to learn. Okay. If you hit them, they'll be stunned. Okay, let's try battle. Okay, I see that my head and the mouse's head are moving towards the right side of the screen. And when I got there, I could attack. So I charge faster than the mouse. We're just trying regular attacks for now. Mousy is slain! Alright, we did it! 50 EXP received. Ellie is now level 2! Nice try, Mouse. We'll see you later. We really should fix our rat problem. Well, I'm glad it doesn't, like, die-die. It just is defeated and goes away. Who left the box here in the middle of the hallway? Mom, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Minimap. Uh, okay. Stars, plot progression. Question marks are quests. New quest added to the quest log. Someone should take out the trash. Yes, someone should. Mom, we're running out of milk. That reminds me, go pick some up milk before you come home. Okay. Boy, that trash can's really full, too. Is that a picture of Dad? Is that a map? Here's a bathroom. Do we have to buy all this toilet paper? You have to be prepared. Don't go into my room. Wait, did Mom say that? doesn't say mom there. Ellie, please, I'm busy. You're playing Universe of Struggle. Yes, I'm busy killing these bunny bots. Don't turn off the light, please. Okay. What should we watch tonight? Nothing scary, please. Should I play some Princess Quest? Oh, wow. Uh, let's skip it for now. I want to play this game. Go, go, Gates. Gaga Gates. Be on the lookout for these conspicuous looking windows or Gaga Gates. Entry into the Gaga Realm. Here you can save, purchase battle items, and level up. Oh. Like this. Enter the realm? Yes. Sure. Tutorial. Okay. Save your adventure, purchase battle items, distribute status points. Use this statue to save progress. If you fall in battle, you'll respawn here. You'll keep it earned experience and items, but enemies will respawn. The shop lets you use GP to stock up on field and battle items. GP is earned via completion of quests and exploration of the world. Your GP and purchase items will reset upon entering the realm, so be sure to stock up before you leave. Use this statue to spend SP to power up your heroes. SP is earned via leveling up and can be used to increase individual stats. Heroes. Okay, so it seems that we'll have a party, which is pretty cool, but let's just save our journey. As you can see, I actually have some saves. Uh, we're going to go to save file 4. Leave the realm, yes. What happened was, I recorded the game and the commentary in OBS, and uh, it was not great, so I'm re-recording and putting the commentary into a different file using Audacity. Why don't... If it ain't Little Miss Ellie. Hiya, Fisher Joe. I reckon you want to head over to the old fishing hole, don't you? You know, let's give it a try. Hot dog, or should I say cool fish. Would you like a quick rundown on how to fish? Sure. It's simple. Reeling in the fish is a safe bet. You'll lose a bit of line, but the fish is bound to come a bit closer. Pulling in the fish loses you more line, but you may bring in the fish a fair amount. Yanking in the fish, well that's a gamble. It causes buckaroo to damage. Buckaroo damage to your line, but if you get lucky, it'll bring the fish much closer. So it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Anyway, you got this, kiddo. Howdy there. Did you know? There's over 30,000 known species of fish in the entire world. It's true. 
Well, it looks like you're about to get a bite. A sunfish appears. Okay, let's uh, pull. You try to pull in the fish. It worked. Reel. You try to reel in the fish. Success. Pull. You try to pull in the fish gently. No luck. Reel. You try to reel in the fish slowly. Success. Pull the fish gently. It worked. You caught the fish. Huh? Did you look at that? You caught a honker. Good job, kiddo. Take this as a reward. You got a caravan token. GP increases by two. Go ahead and catch more fish if you want, but sadly I don't have anything else for you. Okay, so we have uh, quests. Side quests like that, and they're good for caravan tickets. Aha, a carrot. Uh, we're going to want this carrot, I think. It won't budge an inch, and it says, why are you pulling on my head? You could talk? Of course I could talk. You humans have no respect for a vegetable kind always pulling on us. I've had enough. Now we battle Mr. Carrot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, um, I experimented a little, and I couldn't find any weaknesses, so we're just going to go straight up physical attack. Um, I have found that just a straight up melee attack has worked so far with stuff and that when you experiment it takes a little bit of time and you lose some of your uh, turns you know if you go too slow and the carrots time is still going on the top right corner there and you can actually miss out so unfortunately the system kind of is rewarding me for just spamming the attack button so that when it gets there. Hey, now I have a carrot. That's right, I do. Uh, okay. Closed until the evening. So, let's set up the, uh... This is the goal right here. Greetings! You must be here for Miss Keek Startup. That's right. Who is Keek Startup, anyway? Keek Startup is a world-renowned puppeteer and poet. She's traveled the world far and wide, pulling on putting on shows and for adults and children alike to share love and joy of craft to all. It wasn't all joyous for Keek, no. No, no. Sit a spell and I'll tell you the tragic backstory of Keek's Starda. Well, that sounds like fun. Okay, so we actually control the story here, to a degree. First we see the stage and the curtain is down, and the orchestra tunes, which is a nice touch. There's a lot of thought that went into this game that I can tell so far just from playing for like at one hour. And there's lots of great references. Okay, this piano music is great. <gasps> Keek was an ordinary girl with an ordinary life, ordinary parents, and ordinary toys. She didn't have much, but she had what she needed. She was happy. So we're moving to the right right now. <gasps> Until she wasn't. She was all alone, no parents to guide her, no friends to play with. Man, her parents died. What a what a bum deal. That's awful. The other children shunned her. She didn't know why. Well, that's mean of them. Kids. <gasps> the adults obsessed over her. She didn't know why. Okay, she must have some special and unique talent that they can use for their own profit. All she had were toys. All she wanted was a friend. Goodness. That's so sad. But the past is the past, and Keek decided to set a journey to share her toys with everyone young and old. She made the world her friend. She made the world her friend. That's very uplifting. Indeed. And she's here today to share her show with all of you. I'd love to see it. Certainly. That'll be four caravan tokens, please. Ah, uh, caravan tokens? Yes, in order to enter the caravan and meet Keek, you must present at least four caravan tokens. Some members of your town will surely have one in their possession. I wouldn't be surprised if there were, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, seven in total somewhere around town. It's like one of your Easter egg hunts. Well, I suppose I have no choice. I really want to see the show. That's the spirit. Come back when you find at least four tokens and you can have the show of a lifetime. Okay, so what's cool about that is, uh, okay, here's the mayor. He's sweeping his steps. 
Here's the minister. He's afraid of the puppeteer show. Um, what's cool about that is they sort of wink at the fact that it's like side quests and stuff. They're, they're, it's a little meta, a little fourth wall break there. Okay, hello there, Mr. Snowman. What are you doing out here in the middle of summer? Just chilling. Hey, I couldn't ask you for a favor, could I? Well, shoot. As you can see, I'm whacking aesthetic department. Mousy kids. Some mousy kids got distracted and never finished me. Well, that's no good. If you'd uh, be help, so kind to help out a snowman, I'm missing an arm. An arm and arm. I know, I'll find another stick. Good on you, friend. I think I saw one in the trash bin up north. Okay, so we're going to complete a few of these side quests. And the thing is, is we can actually go to the quest menu. We can see available ones and completed ones. We've completed fishing up prizes. And uh, there's all quests. So you can actually click into here. And the main quest is Keats Caravan. Normal difficulty level from Keek, location Keats Caravan. This is a really cool way to keep track of stuff. Okay, so we can play Princess Quest in Ellie's house for a caravan token. Um, we can resolve the rivalry between Burger Man and Taco Man. Uh, we can buy a caravan token from the ghost. Uh, we can go fishing, which we did. We can feed a starving bug. We can help the snowman. And uh, we can go to the see-through showman and visit the exhibits. All right, so that is what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to do all of them, but we can do some of them. Well, they really went all out on the design. I can't even tell this used to be the market <laughs> with the two golden sphinxes there. Greetings, and welcome to Invisiman's Marvelous Show. Not like anyone has showed up. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. That's what all the girls say. I thought you were a clothing rack. Why would you say something so awful? I'm sorry, I'm just not used to invisible people. Yeah, I get that a lot. It's like I don't even exist. <clears throat> anyway. We have four rooms prepared for you today. Just enter one and glance at the mysteries inside. Please don't break anything, my boss will kill me. Okay, see you later, Invisiman. Let's try this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not going back in there. I could not control. Um, so I just took a sip of coffee. Freaky. They look just like me. How did they do it? We got like... Pensive or sad, maybe, and then happy and laughing, and then upset, maybe? They do have her distinctive green hair. Okay, let's try this room. Step right up, step right up. Welcome to the amazing Esteban's most fantastical, biotechnological, phenomenological, phantasmagorical teleporting machine. Straight out of Chrono Trigger. All you need to do is head in here. Presto changeo teleportico and you'll come out right over here. Any takers? <laughs> Not a chance. I don't think it's very safe. Is there some kind of form to sign or? You're all babies, I'll do it. Out of the way. A true kind of sort of technological process. Progress? All right, so we punch in this, carry the variable, switch the priority reverser, and dawn. It kind of takes a while. All done. Now, he could still be in there, and whatever comes out of the right side could have been hiding in there in the first place. Let's open the teleporter, see how our brave volunteer is doing. <sighs> ah! What have you done to me? The horror. I told you it wasn't safe. This exhibit is closed! <laughs> They're not letting me back in. Okay. Welcome to Samson's Magnificent Portable Reliquary. I am Samson. Please no breaking of relics, yes? Oh, uh, I think he probably has some sort of, like, Eastern European accent, okay? So, please no breaking of relics, yes? What's a relic? Silly girl with silly hat, how you not know of relics? Relics are lifeblood of our world, passed down by the Elder Gods, they come in a variety of forms. Each possess unique power, some great, some not so much. All serving no purpose of their own. If controlled by person, that person can use power of relic, become very powerful human. Legends say there is this relic with power such magnitude it destroy universe. They call this the last 
Really? Samson no believe such tales. Okay, well. What's this? Is watermelon. What kind of relic is it? It's not the relic, it's lunch. Very refreshing. Okay. Behold, Mad's mystical crystal of Scion. Sounds sci-fi. Crystal transforms user into younger self. Ooh, mom would like this. Just no let the baby use it. <laughs> Wait, is this... Could it be... Yes, Madame Bastier's comic corset. The cosplayer's holy artifact. How did you get it? Oh, uh, is secret. <laughs> I should probably look that up. That is tight. That is Titan's tonic. One drop will turn you into giant. I always wanted to be taller. It only lasts five minutes. Still. I'd be a giant for five minutes. I think that'd be fun. I'd probably have to stand outside, though. So maybe on a nice day. <clears throat> Small mountain of Irma, dude. Samson find this relic himself, yes. The strange, repugnant smell keeps everyone at distance. Uh, what does matter? I don't think that's what this is. What little girl mean? You know, never mind. <laughs> I was going to tell you it's a pile of poo, but I guess I won't. Cauldron of cakery. Sounds delicious. Everything you cook turns into cake. Sounds fantastic. Fruitcake. Sounds awful. <laughs> Behold, stained remains of Amon Tau. Placed in ancient pottery of illusions. What do they do? Ashes give limited strength of sun's power, but then user melts away. I feel like I shouldn't touch this. Elusive fortune card deck. Pick cards, images on front will determine your fate. But those are tarot cards. Similar, but these don't determine future. They change it. If user pull wrong card, their life changed forever. Well, there's nothing there. That's a missing one. The old Mammon Scythe. Who's Mammon? Destroyer of worlds, conqueror of time. You just happen to have his scythe? He was poker body. I won in game of cards. <laughs> the old Rock of Truth. What does it do? You throw it at foe, he tell truth. Ooh. <laughs> that might just be a rock. Is Dreamweaver's Mask, when worn, lets user put target into deep sleep. I could use this on myself when I can't sleep at night. Then you stuck on Dream, escape for eternity. Yes. Oh, not as useful as I thought. The old Camel of Guardian. That's no camel, that's a unicorn. That is no vegetable, that is camel. Oh, he thinks I said corn, not unicorn. By the way, corn's not a vegetable, it's a starch. This is definitely, this is definitely a unicorn. You see the horn on its head, the majestic horse body? Yes, mighty horn of camel, very strong. She not corn. What is this orangey goo? Delicious drink of my homeland, please take a swig. No, thank you. Little girl, scared of orange drink, you miss out. Much like your popping soda. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, can I look around? I already did. Can I have a relic? Crazy little girl, of course not. These are powerful artifacts only for show. Okay. Well, thank you. I think that last one was probably more entertaining than the other three put together. Although the teleportation deal was pretty funny. You visited all four. How was it? It was fun. I mean, for the most part, I guess. That's what the girl said on my last date. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for visiting and visit Man's Marvelous Show. Please enjoy this complimentary caravan ticket. You got a caravan token. Thank you. Quest complete. I like that little dissolve animation of the quest being complete. Uh, Alright, how many caravan tokens do we have? Two. Let's get an arm for the snowman. Uh, nope. Where is it? It's east and north. Here it is. Would you look at that? Someone threw a perfectly good stick in the trash. Yes, pick the stick. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, now we gotta give it to the snowman here. Which means we have to go all the way around the church. It's a very symmetrical church. Kind of. <laughs> Don't mind that. 
You found the stick. Plop it right in there. There we go. Glad I could help. Wait a sec. My armor's great and all, but I still need something else. A scarf, maybe? A scarf, gotcha. Oh, that's right, there's more. I never found the scarf. Here lies Erdrick. I miss that guy. That is a wonderful, uh, dragon warrior reference. Which is fantastic. Okay, here's the ghost. Hey! Ah! What? A g, -g, 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 -g ghost Oh, yeah. Boo. Why is there a ghost here? I'm with the caravan. I'm selling tokens. Want one? Oh, well, sure. How much? Ten bucks. That's easy. Uh, where's my credit card? No money, no token. I'll get you your money, ghost. Where did I put it? I leave it at home? Maybe mom knows. Oh, watch out, car. Uh, where's home? Here it is. Wait a minute, is that my credit card behind there? Nudge, nudge, nudge. There we go. What's that thumping noise? Nothing, Mom. Now I can go pay that ghost. I love that Mom's just computer gaming away. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we pay the ghost his money. And we get our third token. Thank you for shopping at Kickstarter Industries. Have a Kickstarter day. Thank you, ghost. Okay. Uh, taco shop, burger shop. What begins with shop? Okay, so we talked to Burger Man here. He's mad because he thinks Taco Man is making his place smell. And we're going to go talk to Taco Man for him. This part of the game makes me quite hungry because burgers and tacos sound great. What can I do for you today? I'm not hungry. I wanted to talk about Burger Man. He's been acting strange lately. He thinks you put a distinct bug in his air vents. Why would I do that? Upper hand at competition. Ah, there's room for both of us. Uh, okay, so now he thinks there's a strange smell coming from the manhole. And we need an adult to help. Um, is Ellie wearing, like... Okay, here, this manhole is opened up now. Ellie's wearing, like, um... What's his name's hat from Pokemon, right? So hungry. Need any help there, bug guy? Please, I need food. I have nothing on me. Can you go get me? I'll get you tacos. I don't want human food. I need flies. Ew, flies? Delicious, delectable, delightful. Nothing beats the scrumptious delicacy of a freshly picked fly. Oh, that's disgusting, but a fly you want, fly you shall have. Thank you kindly, stranger. If possible, a trash fly is perfect this time of year. Okay, so up the ladder we go. There's a fly buzzing around this trash can. And how do we catch it? Well, it's too fast to grab, and it doesn't speak human, so we'll have to rummage through the bin. That will make us stinky. But then the fly follows us. Look, we are a fly girl. See the fly? <laughs> it's cute. I like it. We have a little fly friend. Unfortunately for this fly, he's about to get eaten. Yes, that's it. That's the fly. Give it here. <laughs> the deli delight, the transcendence, the miraculous symphony of gooey crunchiness. Bugman is evolving. I've reached my second form. It's all thanks to you, fair maiden of Haven. Take this as a token of my gratitude. And we shall meet again. Whoops, see you later, bouncy. What an odd bug. Quest complete. All right, that's fantastic news. So we have four tokens, which means we can proceed, but what's in here? A bat tooth! Okay, can we equip that? No. Is it an item? No. Arts. Magic arts, weapon arts. Status. Okay. All right, well, let's keep going. I imagine it's some sort of consumable, maybe. Maybe we need to learn a spell before we can use it. <gasps> Excuse me. 
Yeah, ha, you found me. <laughs> He's a Korak seed. You're the one popping that awful scent in the burger shop, aren't you? What's it to you, human girl? Why are you doing this? Why ruin the sanctity of burgers? Because that burger man refused to serve me. He thought it was grease that oozed out from under the stove. He tried to clean me away. Well, I'm sure it was an honest mistake. Baloney. It was deliberate, and now I will make his shop smell like baloney. Blagna. It's the other way to sp other way to spell baloney. I can't let you do that, slime. Well, I guess we're at an impasse. Duel me, human. So this guy's not that tough, but what he teaches us is that slimes can split. So we do charge ever so slightly faster than he does, but he's still going to attack first. Ellie is no more. Wow. I said he wasn't that tough, and then he killed me in one... Okay, now my HP is 60. So let's try again. We'll just sort of speed through the dialogue here. I don't really understand how the save load system... That's the first time I've died. And it didn't bring me back to the... Um... Okay, attack, attack, attack. Got it. 41, slime is slain. However, two smaller slimes have taken its place. Um, am I going to be able to get there first? Nope. Slime plop. Ellie is too buff. So that's the thing, is that the first slime's attack is actually strong enough to hurt Ellie, but these little ones can't get her down. Slime B is slain. But now we have A, B, C, and D, and they're all very little slimes. So it'd be cool if we had an attack that could do, like, the whole screen. Uh, and maybe we do, and I just don't know about it. I don't know. But these guys are gonna give us zero point attacks, and so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but defeating this guy will be great because this will set Burger Man and Taco Man right. And then we'll get another token. And then we will be all set to uh, move on. So, what do you guys think of this game so far? I think it's pretty neat. Um, this was developed by just a handful of people, and possibly just one person, I don't know. I mean, I know the music, um, was someone else. The company is Hallway Games, and, uh, in the credits you can see that the creator is Christopher Hall, and music was by someone else, and the sprite design was by a couple of people, including the main guy. Let me talk to Burger Man. We'll clear the situation right up. So as I explained, it was all just a misunderstanding. This grease is just some slime? I'm so sorry, little buddy. It's okay. I'm sorry I made your shop smell so bad. And you, Taco Man, I'm sorry I blamed you. Hey guys, take a lesson from Burger Man here. When he realizes he's wrong, he apologizes and makes things right right away. It's no problem, says Taco Man. I have an idea. To celebrate the end of this mystery, let's combine our efforts and make a new dish. You don't mean... A hamburrito? You got it! <laughs> can I get one too? Oh, the slime is all excited. See the can I get one too? He's very hopeful. Absolutely, my little slime friend. And for you, Ellie, you get a caravan token. Alright, so we're up to four, so I think we can go to Keekstarter's Dealy Deal. Let's check out our other um, quests. Because last time I didn't do the fishing one. So what's available here? We did... We must have done all the same... Well, we didn't go fishing, though. We d I don't think we earned a caravan token... ...with Princess Quest, because I couldn't get far enough. And I don't know where the scarf is. So how did we get enough caravan tokens last time? That's what I don't know. Huh. Okay, let's do a little exploring and make sure there's not like... Oh, look at that box. We want to open it. Maybe there's a caravan token in here. Vita ring was found. Well, let's equip that right away. Uh, what does that do? That puts up our defense, our magic defense, and our agility. And increases max HP by 50. 
Wow, well that's fantastic. All right, um, let's make sure there's nothing more we can open. I don't know where the, oh. Oh, that's not anything. I thought for sure that would be a thing. Well, can I interact right here? Is there a door? No. Maybe the scarf will tell us where, or the snowman will tell us where to find a scarf. Something pink would be great. All right, keep an eye out for a pink scarf. I wonder what happens if we bring more tokens than just the four that we need. Is there a scarf in here? That's a blue scarf. I'm guessing whatever it would be, it would be sitting out. There's a police officer. He doesn't get paid enough. That's a stick. That's the arcade. It's closed. I know because we talked to him. Recycle. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hi, Ellie. How's your mother? She's good. Relatively speaking. Okay. Run along. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Are you sipping coffee in your chair outside? Taco shop. Oh. Just look at that witch lady. Standing there stirring that cauldron for hours. That's right. We did talk to the witch last time. Rubble, rubble, oil and bubble. Come, little child. Let me show you the world of magic. <laughs> I think I need an adult. I am an adult. I'm 423 years old. You don't look a day over 400. <laughs> Tell me, dearie, do you know of alchemy? I learned this in school. You combine multiple items to make a new concoction, right? It's like medieval chemistry. Sort of. What I speak of is battle alchemy. Little trick of the trade, dearie. Place a monster part into an alchemy pot. It will result in an explosive reaction. Devastating elemental spell. Try these out for size. You received a lizard claw and a lesser alchemy pot times five. Choose the alchemy command in battle. Pick the part you wish to use, which pot to throw it in, and kablam! Try it the next time you're in a battle. Thanks, witch lady. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, no one's home. What's this? Where is there a pink scarf? Uh, alchemy. Yeah, so it seems as though the lesser pots, like, the pots are probably, please stop planting eggplants, thank you. You overplant the garden with too many eggplants one time and they never let you hear the end of it. Does this guy have a scarf? No. Closed until evening. Oh, I see a box back here. Is there a scarf in here? You found a fluffy cuddle stuff inside. What a lovely surprise. Oh, I see a pink thing. Maybe this is the scarf. It's a scarf. Why is a parking cone wearing a scarf? <laughs> Better take it. Waste not, want not. You got a scarf. Now it's just a parking cone again. Oh, whoops. We do not need to go down here. Although maybe we do. Maybe there's something down there we missed. I don't know. Okay, here's the church. Give this guy a scarf. That's perfect. Rack around my neck. Tidy. All right, I gotta go now. Leaving so soon, I was hoping you could help me out some more. Snowman's not a snowman without a carrot for a nose. We have a carrot. Find some spare ones at the community garden in town. Uh, let's just talk right away, because I have one. Stick it right in there. I can breathe fresh air again. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hold up. What now? I need a little flare, something fancy, maybe a hat. I think you're taking advantage of my blind kindness. Not at all. This is the last time, I promise. All right, I'll be back. Hats tend to get stuck up on things. Just look around town. I'm sure you'll find one. Maybe you'll find one on top of a light post? This is a demanding snowman. Oh, here's one. Shake, shake, shake. There it goes. Okay. I wonder if it belongs to anyone. Hats off the merchandise lady. A mimic hat? Right, oh, if you want me to come along, you gotta defeat me. Bring it on, hat. <laughs> this is funny, there's good humor in this game. I like the dialogue, that is an angry looking hat. Okay, we're almost ready to attack. Attack! Nasty hit of 43. Hat smash. Nasty hit of 14. 
Well, it seems as though our defense is significantly higher, or our offense is higher, or both. And I'm guessing its HP is lower than ours. Uh, I hope? Well, actually, probably not, because I've already done a lot of damage. Okay, Mimic is slain. You did it! 25 EXP. Ellie is now level 3. You know what's great about this game? Mimics win the war. You got a hat. Uh, <clears throat> is that there's probably no walkthrough for it anywhere that I know of, and so I can't look up like an enemy compendium or anything. Which is great, I just have to learn it. I have to figure it out. Place it on top here. How do I look? Dashing, right? I had to fight an angry carrot and a mean hat to get you all these items. I'm sorry, friend. Tell you what, you can have my extra caravan token. Okay, we got three GP. Almost worth all the trouble I went through. Yeah, almost. Lousy snowman. At least he's happy now. Whoops! Game, please. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Okay. Item. Arts, equip, quest. That's what we want. Um, review the quests. Right. Available to completed six. Uh, where's my mouse? Click. Okay. Completed. Smelly Rivalry, Cash, Fishing, Starving Bug, Snowway Man, See Through Showman. So all that's left is Princess Quest. I suppose we should give it a try. So how many... We have six caravan tokens, so there's only one left to get, and that's from playing the Princess game, which I do want to show you guys in Ellie's house before we go to Kickstarter. And speaking of Kickstarter, if you want to support this maker in his game, I don't know if the game is yet available for purchase? I probably should have looked that up. Um, but I will find the itch.io link and the Steam link and let you guys know. Save your journey? Yes. Save. Okay, can we spend? Whom shall I empower? Ellie. Level up, level down. HP 110, MP 1. Student, level 3. Level down, done. Can I level up? Increases max HP by 10. 2 out of 20. Uh, max MP. That would be nice. Then we could use the cure. Okay, that used two points, and now we're down to 18. So let's use a few of those. Increases max MP by 10. Wow, that's a big jump. We're at 9 now, but we could go to 19. Uh, physical attack power of this unit by 1. I don't think that's going to be her point. Defense going up would be nice. Magic attack and magic defense by one. Agility. Oh, that probably means the bar goes up faster. Hmm, okay. Let's, um... Let's do one more here. And that boy agility costs a lot. But then we'll do defense by that many. And magic defense by one. It does not increase max MP by 10, it increased it by two. And then another regular defense, I think. Okay, and then we're done. And we can actually level down, which is interesting. All right, let's try this statue. Bye. Go-go bread, gaga bread. Cut away the green part. Restores 50% of your HP. 
Um, 50% of your MP. Removes all status ailments but death. Bring the user back to life at full HP. Wow. Strength candy. Doubling your attack for some time. Interesting. Okay, what am I going to use? Probably these. Even if they're fallen. In battle. I mean, that sounds nice. Okay, that. F so the state is a dead guy here. And this fixes a few states. But doesn't do any HP heal. Oh, and we have 16. So we could buy one of these. And we'll be down to 11. And we could buy one of these, and we'll be down to 10. And then we could get five of these, maybe? And then we're out. Okay, let's save again now. Overwrite, yes please. Okay, now we're out of here. Um, what was I saying? I was gonna leave links so you guys can uh, go try this game out for yourself if you want. Okay, let's play Princess Quest. Start. Okay. Um, that is a potion, I think. Whoops, I hit the wrong key again. Okay. Uh... So there doesn't seem to be much to do but just move here. So we don't want to lose our life. So we can lure those guys and then get around them. And gather up stuff. Woo! This music, by the way, rocks. Okay, we got a key. We're at full life. I can't tell if the guard is at zero out of three or what it's at. Did that, what did that enemy do? Did I defeat it? Or did it hurt me? Oh, okay. What did that hit? Did that hit one of the spikes? We can't touch these spikes. Oh, okay. That's a good switch to have. Uh, guard. Okay, up. One out of three. Two out of three. That seems to be all we can do here. That's a bit of a dead end after that. Now we can use our key here. Good. Ow. Okay, that block hit me and took a half a heart. You have to be careful when you enter a new room not to hold down the direction. Here's a potion. That gave us our life back. So let's get... Yeah, I seem to be defeating those, I think. What is the deal with this guy? We gotta defeat that guy to open the way. Oh, so if they hit you, they hurt you. But if you hit them, you get them. It seems like the attack is kind of automatic. Okay, this is gonna be a timing game here. I wasn't sure I had enough time to pull that one off, which is why I did it the way I did it. Oh, got us. But we got another key. I wonder if that potion that I got earlier is like a full heal and if I should have saved it. It's amazing that without even an attack button, how challenging it could make this. Oh, I just hit another. Uh... Oh boy, we are one hit away from dead. Oh, okay. We need a potion here. Can I attack this? I did it.
And we have our keys, so we can get through this door. Okay, let's attack these guys instead of... Oh no! It got me! Game over. Ugh, same place I died last time! All right, well, we don't need that caravan token, so we'll skip it. That's hard. All right. But we have what we need to move on, so let's go ahead and do it. That's enough tokens. You may proceed, but once you enter, you may never return. Until the show is over. Well, that's a little disconcerting. Once I go in, I can't come out until the show is over. That's fine. Here we go. Don't worry, Maiden. Just hang tight. I'll get you out of there. What's that? What is this? Alright, we're walking up a hallway. This place seems rather strange. It's a long, empty hallway. The hallway won't stop going. Ooh, it's getting darker, though. And the music is getting mysterious. And now there's ghosty ghosts! And now I said shaky shaky! Whoa! This hallway is a disaster. Alright. Ah! Why do you share such thunderous scream when I shower you with wondrous dream? Who's there? But of course it is I, the most humblest geek. Why do you shudder so helpless and meek? Why did you lock me in here? I want to go home now. Home is a world both far and distant. Why do you remain so utterly resistant? I don't understand. Hush, child, and let this end. Enjoy your rest forever, my friend. No, thank you, creepy disembodied voice. I gotta get out of here. But how? This room is so large. There must be something in here I can use. I agree. My grandmother had a clock like this. Doesn't help me here, though. Correct. Nothing useful over here. I don't know these bottles. I don't think it'll be any help. Feels a bit cool over here. Hmm. Reminds me of the draft in the Dragon Warriors. Uh, what's the name? The boss. The boss's lair. Keek's diary. All the pages are blank. Picture of a sad looking little girl. One of these chairs you sit down in at the shrink's office. Just a dusty old chair. Yeah, sit in that chair. Sip some coffee. A miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> what does a man? Nice uh, Symphony of the Night reference there. So see all those question marks on the map? <clears throat> uh, smells a lot like my cousin Steve's apartment. Um, what is that? It's an abacus. Old calculator won't help me here. We're getting rid of those question marks on the map. Recipe book. No hidden key in the beaker. Nothing particular about this globe. Hey, kiddo, over here. Who said that? You imprisoned by crazy driving lady too? A talking barrel. No, I am a warrior. To downtrodden. Hero to helpless. Killer of rats. It is none other than Generico. You know no Generico? No matter. Generico have plan. I'm listening. Generico hide in barrel, hoping rhyming lady come in and Generico escape. Lady came, but book remained, door remained closed. Get this, bookcase in back, hidden passage. Awesome. I knew there was something suspicious about it, but why haven't you left? Generico ashamed to admit, but Generico seems stuck in barrel, can't move on. No worries, I'll get us out of here. Find button for bookcase, Generico hop behind kiddo. Alright, so now we have Gen Generico following us. We'll hit the button, the secret passageway will open, and out we will go. I've got to dodge the old books here. And we're in this magical, mystical forest. Uh, where? Oh no! Where are we? This isn't Haven. What is this Haven? 
Seems generical and kiddo are in Gob Forest. Gob Forest? What's a gob? Who's a gob? Gob Forest is south, land south of Asgard. I'm not sure where this haven you speak of. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I need to go home. It's dark and it's late. My mom is probably worried about me and I didn't feed Monty and... It's okay, kiddo. Generico will bring home. I think he's got the same accent as the relic guy. But you're stuck in a barrel! <laughs> yes, but hopping has loosened wood. Behold, might of Jericho. Generico. He must be a generic sidekick. Barrel, no match for Generico. Yo. What? Nothing, you're just not what I pictured. Haha! -ha! All enamored by Generico of Estonvinia. <laughs> he killed many rats in hometown. Does Kito know how to fight? I can shoot my bow at things. Good enough! Forest full of monsters. We beat them together. Monsters? Of course! If Kito come from Haven, surely Haven's close by. Let's get you home in no time. Um, sure. Each character has their own special abilities to help them in battle. Ellie can use monster parts in battle to unleash powerful magic attacks against enemy. A good way to save MP. Right, by throwing the, the parts into pots. Desperate attack. Generico can use desperate attack in battle. While powerful, these attacks can only be used once. Visiting a shrine, Gogo Shrine, will restore these uses. Okay. Let's not go back to that creepy place. Agreed. What's this? A Vita ring. Ooh, you know what? That reminds me. Uh, see, now we have two characters here, and it seems we can equip here. Oh, he already has a Vita ring on. Was that automatic? Oh, cuddle stuff? What does that do? Soothes you in stress, provides HP regen during battle, or max HP by 50. So, if we do equip for Ellie, and we reset and we optimize, yeah, it wants Vita Ring. Even though we could do that. But we're optimized, so we'll leave the cuddle thing alone for now, okay. Here is another chest. 200 gold. Excellent. Here is another chest. Aqua Blob and Lesser Alchemy Pot. Those are probably usable items. Hello there. Are you a god for alchemy? Look, do I look like a god to you? I don't even know what a god is. I'm a fairy! <clears throat> Before the monsters... Beware the monsters that lurk around this forest. They fight with physical and magical abilities. It's a good idea to power up your defense and magic defense. Thanks for the tip, fairy. Do we have any more points that we can spend here, I wonder? Let's enter this realm. And, uh... Can we spend... Anything? We have 20. 20 to spend. So... Defense. This MP is very low, but that's okay. Maybe we should increase attack by two, defense by two, magic defense by two. His agility is already high, his luck is good. So, more attack or more defense? We'll just split them evenly. It did not. Eh, I did not add any of that. Um, and with Ellie, we have zero to spend. Okay. Let's see about this. We have 16 points. Possession, one. Wait a minute, I thought we bought a bunch of these. And then saved. Does saving reset it? Wait a minute. Does that mean that Ellie is not empowered the way I thought she was? Uh, let's save here, just in case we want to do that princess game again. And uh, next time, we'll do some battling. Maybe some grinding. 
And again, I don't know if this is going to appear on the sub-basement after this. Not because it's inappropriate for the basement, but because... Uh, it just depends on interest level, I guess. I'm interested in playing more. Let's just straight up attack here. It's nice to have two of us. We slain the Mushroom A. Let's see what kind of experience this gets us. Maybe we could do some grinding. Add some levels. I don't know if the game is meant to be grindy or not. We found gold, we got experience, and that's good. But yeah, we'll be, uh... We'll be exploring in the woods. Uh, next time. Thanks for joining me! Again, links in the description below for, uh, stuff that you need to know about this game. And, uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. In the basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.